Well, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be talking about Magic the Gathering and Star Wars. If you were on the Reddits and Facebooks and groups yesterday, you know that everything kind of got all crazy when Mark Rosewater responded to a comment about a future Star Wars set. Um, I don't know if you know this, but there is actually some really cool Star Wars stuff already available for Magic the Gathering. We're going to show you a little bit of a deck that I built uh, about 10 years ago. I uh, will show you that in a second. But first, let's talk about the news and give you my thoughts on it. Um, basically, uh, Mark has a he has a blog. Like a, I don't remember how often he posts on the blog or whatever. But uh, and somebody asked this question. Hello, Mark. Uh, Ma with Magic the Gathering doing alternative universes, Warhammer and Lord of the Rings. If you didn't know this, uh, Magic the Gathering has like a Lord of the Rings set coming out. They have a Warhammer Commander deck coming out. Uh, do you think we will see a Star Wars set of Magic the Gathering? To which now Mark Rosewater has posted on Blogatog. Uh, would people like to see a Star Wars set? Uh, this is another way that it looks. I, it's hard to pull this up. You see, like he kind of quoted the tweet. Or the, it's on a tweet. Quoted the post, and then he said, "Would people like to see a Star Wars set?" Uh, and the, obviously, this is not like saying, "Hey, everyone, there's going to be a Star Wars set coming out." I think uh, if you take a look at all the things that happen on this, there's a couple of takes with this. I, I saw a couple other content creators talking about, well, like, why would he even? Uh, he gets a hundred questions. Why would he even bring it up if it wasn't going to happen? Uh, I saw somebody else talk about that a long time ago. Uh, not, not that long ago, about a couple months ago, he asked a question asking about like a steampunk and asking for opinions about steampunk. And then we got Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So maybe this is a hint of something that is to come, but it also does not mean that this is officially a thing. So don't take that uh, for, for meaning this is officially a thing. But if Magic the Gathering is already working with IPs such as Lord of the Rings, um, I think that Star Wars is probably potentially something that could happen uh, and i think it would be really really good for magic the gathering obviously and i would personally i'm kind of over the whole when they first started doing these universes beyond thing i i was kind of like i don't really want to play against a fortnite character uh, but then i started seeing some other people just really get into it and really find joy and and i realized that I don't love it, but if it's giving somebody else joy and making them excited to be involved in the hobby, I'm all for it. And so um, now as a Star Wars fan, listen, I, I told you, like I just showed you, I've already, I've already, oh, I'm already there. I have already um, hopped into Star Wars in Magic the Gathering and it's super fun and it's super, like it's an, an enjoyable experience. Um, so I'm kind of all for this, to be honest with you. I'm kind of all for magic doing something like this i think it, the the mechanics of magic the gathering work really well with a star wars theme we haven't seen star wars tcgs be able to kind of continue over the last couple years so i would love to see something like this let me show you where you can get this first uh because i know people are gonna be interested in that and then I, i'm gonna show you my sith my sith deck for star wars so this is star wars the gathering and i have no affiliation uh with with these people who have put this together i actually came across this about um i don't know at least i don't know, it's been a long time so i, I came across this uh, i haven't really looked at it since i i did the printing and uh printed it all out but um basically you've got a bunch of star wars cards these people have put together a like a an entire set for star wars and there's six different factions you got the jedi order and the separatists i play as the sith empire you've got bounty hunters in the wild and then trooper legion and then there's other things like space flight and the force um it's really really super cool and you can actually just go here and print off this is why i did there's like a print and play i guess there's like a whole reddit community i've never done anything with this um there's a whole, i guess people who actually like care about it and then i don't know if this is still a thing but you used to be able to hit this like order a print of this and it would print you the whole draft game that is not what i did i did the print and play um and i've got these cards I'll show you um, that I literally printed off like 10 years ago. And I've, I like, watch this. This is Anakin Skywalker. Ready to check this out. I literally printed it off. And then on the back of it, uh, I glued the other side of the card. Now on the other ones, it's, it's glued to just the card back. You know, this is not like, 
tournament legal obviously it's not a tournament deck anyway it's like a little bit thicker uh but so my my cards are all back and forth uh, oops, I dropped Darth Sidious. Uh, my cards are all back and forth. They're just super cool. Super fun. They're like thick. It's fun to play. So this is my Sith deck. And basically, I'm going to show you uh, kind of how it works. It's kind of cool. It's been a long time since I've played it. But it's all based around the hate mechanic. And essentially, the hate mechanic says at the beginning of each hate mechanic, uh, when, when this enters the battlefield... Oh, sorry. That's a bad example. The hate mechanic essentially says if an opponent has lost life from a source other then combat damage this turn, then something happens. So it's uh, every heat mechanic is different. It, the trigger is always if it's been dealt damage from a source other than combat damage. So there's a bunch of cards that trigger uh, damage that isn't combat damage. You know, this is Vapor Snag. It returns a creature to its owner's hand and that person loses a life. You got Force Spark, uh, deals one damage to target player, draw a card. You know, you've got things that are just easy to deal damage to trigger that hate ability. That's everything that I'm doing here. Force Lightning, you know, deals X damage to, you know, players. You've seen cards like that. Obviously, you've seen Lightning Bolt three damage to a player so you're triggering hate uh and that's causing you know what did they say in this thing i love it it's, i saw it earlier uh they say it is all about feeding off the suffering of the enemies so you're triggering you know, your hate is just feeding off the suffering of your enemies and so then you get to do really cool things there's also some you know the imperial gunner triggers hate it deals one damage you know the deceptive hate player this this guy i don't even know how to pronounce it uh he, he is one of the ones that does hate so whenever he attacks if an opponent's lost life from a source other than combat damage target creature blocks this turner if, if able and it's a three two you get to blow up some people's stuff uh, darth maul right uh, whenever he attacks if an opponent has lost life uh target creature can't block this turn great uh anakin skywalker flips into darth vader does darth vader have an ability he does not have a hate ability. Hold on, we'll get to Darth Vader. Uh, you've got Sith Mindseer. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent lost life from a source other than combat damage this turn, you gain control of a target creature for as long as this remains on the battlefield. So super fun, super cool. And then there's also some enchantments that do stuff too, all based around dealing damage to your opponent through non-combat damage. But then, of course, the coolest part of this game and the whole whole thing is when you get to play as Anakin Skywalker and you get to transform into Darth Vader. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Empire are the good guys in Star Wars. We can get into a whole dialogue about this, but um, the Empire was actually the good guys and the Rebellion are the bad guys in Star Wars. There's a whole conversation that you can have about this, but we'll, we'll save it for later. So I like playing as the good guys, the Empire. Anakin, um, when he dies, you put a 1-1 counter. When another hero, sorry, when another creature dies, you put a 1-1 counter on Anakin, and then you sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets minus one. If Anakin would, die, if Anakin would die, you regenerate and transform him into Darth Vader, who's a 4-4 with menace and lifelink. And whenever he attacks creatures your defending player controls, get minus one for each 1-1 counter on Darth Vader. So as Anakin Skywalker does terrible things and you know kills his own creatures and kills other creatures uh he becomes in a big strong darth vader uh that also does complete damage this card is so broken uh to your opponent so super cool super fun the flavor is just on point and this is the type of thing that i think can go a long long way in magic the gathering i you know i like it as a box set I like it as something that sits in its own world. Like if I were to take this deck and I were to play against, you know, my friend's modern deck, it would obviously feel weird. You know, I'm playing as Darth Vader. You have a whole lot of conversation and, and history with that character. And you're playing as Liliana. I like with Liliana. I just don't think it, it doesn't feel a hundred percent if it's actual cards. Now I'm kind of okay with being like, Hey, this is my, like, yeah, I, I love proxies. Like I love cards or, or alt arts. Like um, yeah, where you know have an artist actually make the art and go on the card. Um, but I'm not a fan of like them printing an entire set for play. I would love to see Magic come out with like a box set or some sort of like cube set that could be a, like that could be a really cool secret layer if they kind of package this whole thing like these people have online. Um, if they package this whole thing as an official Star Wars cube, that would be really, really cool. 
I think more than likely though where this ends is in a secret layer. You guys know I'm, I'm not a huge fan of secret layers. I think that uh, you know, I wish they did more things for the LGS and I wish that kind of thing, but I think we will get a secret layer that has Darth Vader in it. I think that can be okay as long as it's not a completely different card. So I just wanted to show off this really cool. Uh, oh, I didn't even show you. You got Darth Sidious. This is crazy. You get these emblems that are just like absolutely at the beginning up. You can draw a card if you do discard a card, like really, really crazy things i think that another one that deals damage maybe at the beginning of upkeep deal one damage to target creature or player so it like automatically triggers it's an emblem that triggers hate like it's crazy super powerful deck so i uh, thought it was really cool hope you enjoy remember to be kind to the people around you let me know what you think about star wars and if you would like to see this kind of you know alternative reality universe thing uh, in in magic the gathering if you like that or if you don't but at the end of the day Remember that this is just a game. There's more to life to it. Be kind to the people around you, and we'll see you again next video.